Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan a calmer life. And in this video, I'm going to do a teacher planner setup showcasing my EC Softbound teacher planner and I'm super excited to do so. I have all the things I need. I have my markers, my liners, my stickers, all the things to help set up this planner. And if you're new to my channel, you don't know, I've recently returned to the classroom, super excited about it. And I'm, I rewarded myself by <laughs> buying a new teacher planner. This is the front page here. And then this is um, the All About Me section here. Uh, but there's a part called All About Me here. Again, with that, you know, that design, that wildflower design. Uh, events and volunteers and classroom events and dates. They do have a communication log, so you can chart the date, the name of the student, and the reason why you are communicating with the parents. I think that's great. You have a calendar from July 2020, which is this month, and then December 2024, which is awesome. You have um, kind of an event type situation here. Uh, I would start in September because that's when I return to work. And um, you have a graph chart where, I hope you can see this okay. You have a, dra a graph chart where you can chart uh, your classroom seating plan and setup, organize groups, track learning act, uh, assessments, things like that. There's one, two there. Um, and then this one here is a, uh, it says spread joy is contagious. Just like some, you know, some things to remember. So days to remember here, here, and maybe some notes you want to do is there. And then we have the monthly view of the calendar. Now, I'm not going to back plan any of this stuff because I don't start teaching until September. But for those of you who start earlier, this is great to have. And as we open up, you see that what I love about this is that I don't have to, unlike my happy planner planner, where I had to put the dates in here for my teacher planner, I don't have to do that with this one here and I love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the classes that I teach up in these top parts here and I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you how I do that. And I'm going to, um, you know, put any type of like event specific things under the date that's here. And I love that it's a Monday start, Friday end, and it is just gorgeous. What I love about EC planners is that the paper is a definite upgrade from a lot of the paper planners that I've used in the past. So for me, I'm so excited about that. That is good, folks. What's up? How are you all doing? I hope you're having a wonderful summer and that all is well, because I'm having a wonderful summer. A uh, couple things that I do want to to take you with on, on tour with is setting up this planner and I'm going to be using these are the monthly and functional tabs so I'm going to stick these tabs on my planner according to the month it just makes life a lot easier when you're trying to navigate the planner I find and of course I'm having a difficult time opening this so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out of the package first of all <laughs> if I can and then I'm going to stick them on uh, to the, the areas of the planner and get it all set up for you. So here we go. All right, folks. So what I've done is I have added in my labels to the side of my planner. And it is just a great way to keep things organized so that you can find things in a pinch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the planner. I'm somebody who I don't put my name into the planner until I'm, you know, all using it. So, so this part here is going to be blank for a little bit and that's okay. But what I do want to do is I want to show you how I set up my planner. So this part here will just be uh, for planning purposes. So getting the year started, what I need to do for each month in terms of curriculum items, goals I want to hit with my students and so on. So there's that. What I've done is I color code the classes that I teach. So for every class that I have, 
I designate a certain color to it. I'm going to do a mock spread for you, just so you can get a sense of how I'm going to use the planner this year. Keep in mind the school hasn't started yet, so I won't be using it <laughs> uh, for another month or so, but I do wanna give you some ideas in case you want some tips to set up your own planner. So here we go. Alrighty, so this is um, my setup for my teacher planner. So just to show you how I have things organized. So like I said, I like to keep all of my subjects and my things that I need to do on the top of this planner. And when I had a happy planner and other planners in the past, I did something very similar. And this is something that has worked for me and has kept me calm throughout all the teacher cray. <laughs> and on the side here, what I do is I like to put whatever important events I have for that day uh, for the classes. So for instance, I use a sticker here to tell me that I have a quiz in my English 9 class, for example, of uh, the Tuesday, I have to prep a video and that is going to be for my English 10. I would put the subject here, so ing 10. So that just lets me know that during my prep period, if I have, um, I can get those things ready to go. Um, here I have to prep another video for another class and so on. So a lot of uh, important events I put underneath the date so that I can see it at first glance. And then as I continue on, what I do is I like to make sure that I put in uh, my to-do. So whatever to-do list I have for that day, things I need to get done, I put it in there and I color code it according to the class. Now, I don't expect you all to do this. I just been teaching for over 20 years, two decades, and I am a person who responds to colors. So for every class, I have a different color. So for this class, I have yellow, green, that's purple and that's blue. Pink is for like meetings and things like that. And it just works for me. So if I look here, I know that this is blue. So this has to do with English 10 class. Oh, I have to photocopy the notes. And it just helps me to understand to do things better. Um, and sometimes if I know the week's gonna be heavy because I have a lot of blue, for instance, that means there's a lot going on in that particular class. And it just really works for me. Now over to the side here, what I like to do is I like to put in notes and whatever, whether that is calling a parent, meetings that I have and so on, they would all go here for the week. And sometimes I put reminders for the week ahead. And that's essentially what I do. So for in these sections here, I just put in what I'm doing with the class. I don't go into too much detail on these because I actually do have a digital planner that contains my lesson plans and I do all that digitally, but this is to help me, like say if my administrator wants to pop in and wants to see what I'm doing in keeping in line with the curriculum, they can just look here and see that everything's right where it should be. So this is a fantastic way to set things up. If you're looking for an idea on how to organize your teacher planner, this I find is the most effective way to do it. And that doesn't mean this is set in stone. I may decide to change things up a little bit, but this is how I've done it for years and it's really worked well for me. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. And in the other parts of the planner, you know, I like to, so if you see here, I have a notes section If say for instance, I'm in a staff meeting and I have to put in some notes in here. I can do that in this section here and list. This is just um, a part here that contains student checklists. So if I wanna put marks in, I don't do that. I actually do that digitally because it's just a lot easier. But if I want to have a hard copy of something, then I can always put it here. And it just makes life so much more simple which will lead you to a calmer life. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my friends. There you go, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions on how I plan in my teacher planners, don't for forget to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to stay tuned to the channel because there's gonna be more planning and organization content to come. So until the next time, my beautiful friends, take care, be well, be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye planner peeps. Baby, you give me